next up, we have outperformed our regional leaders. So perched at that 22,300 odd mark, the Nifty index has managed to hit a two-week high. In fact, uh, we're just 15 points below the peak and uh, you had uh, the Nifty Bank Index as well, which has been a key pillar of strength, closing in above the 47,000 mark. We're sharply off the highs for on, the, on the back of expiry jitters that we witnessed, kickstarting a brand new month. So let's find out what exactly is in store. And Nikunj, if uh, the last week was anything to go by, it looks like we have managed to outperform in the fiscal year and in the week gone by. Yeah. <clears throat> See, the fiscal year, which is FI24, was more like a grand year. And it was a grand year by all count. But if I just look at last week's data, even though it was a truncated week, I guess the data points were very impressive. The markets have survived the mid-air turbulence. Outperformance clearly seems to be coming back. And both in terms of direction and, and momentum now, which is important, the market is showing signs of uh, fresh energy. So low levels on the Nifty were protected. Small and mid-cap stocks have seen what could be called as a reasonable and a sizable comeback. The fear in the market of uh, a real meltdown in the mega ca in the micro caps and in the small caps that completely has evaporated so while it may be called as a truncated week but for me it was an important week because it just sets the tone of what is the way forward and uh, we are now entering what could be called as the busy season of news busy season of uh, earnings and then elections so even though the election verdict will not come out in the month of april uh, the election, the voting process will start and that in a sense is just going to force market to make some opinions about how things are going to move. Oh yeah, absolutely. The narrative for elections is surely going to build, uh, build up. But yeah, it's an important week. You've got the start of the new series. You've got FI25 as well kickstarting. You've got the auto sales numbers which should start uh, trickling in from today onwards. Uh, trading books for uh, India Inc. will reopen. Not just that, Q4 provisional updates will start coming in. So we'll give you a better sense of, or rather, a color on how the earnings this time around are going to be. And then, of course, you'll have the RBI MPC meet as well as the PMI data as well. While uh, we all know what really is penciled in for the RBI meet this, uh, this time around, but yeah, again, you know, the commentary stands important. But kickstarting first, with the uh, Motown's monthly sales? Yeah, you know, um, Aisha, I think it's more like a routine uh, data point which uh, markets would uh, take into account, especially for, four, especially for two wheelers and then at least for tractors. Now, over the quantum of last uh, five, six months, the realization for the market is that two wheeler is moving independently of what is happening in the rural economy and uh, tractor is slowing down largely because of a slowdown in the rural economy. Unlike March, I think for the auto sector, December and Jan migration is very important. So hardly anything will change really for an auto perspective, auto sales perspective when it comes to March versus April. But in general, I guess the sector has been in a good groove. It's been an outperforming sector for the year gone by. Violations cannot be called as stretched. There's nothing very specific which really markets are betting on. Uh, passenger car is doing okay. Tractor is under stress. CV is doing okay. And two-wheeler, will it continue to really surprise? Uh, I think the dark horse really there could be what happens to the EV two-wheeler sales given that Ola Electric is getting warmed up for an IPO. So that's in small sector. But I think tractors, I'm sounding repetitive, this one would be key and would be important to really gauge which way rural economy is actually moving and which way the demand vectors are moving. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.